Hey guys, this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire these two single 2 ohm subs in series to equal a 4 ohm final impedance. So here we have the JL Audio W3V2, which is a single 2 ohm subwoofer. And in order to tell a single voice coil over a dual voice coil is by taking a look at the basket. We only see one set of terminals, a positive and a negative. If we look up the other side of the basket, we don't have another set of terminals. Now, prior to wiring up your woofers, you may want to check the impedance just to verify that you do have a 2 ohm woofer. And in order to do so, we're going to go ahead and set our meeting, uh, meter on the ohm setting, take our two test leads, and by the way, it does not matter which one you connect positive or negative on the woofer. Now, one point, we want to make sure that the woofer is facing up towards the sky on a flat level surface, because if I breathe on it or touch it, it's going to cause the impedance to fluctuate and we're going to get an improper reading, which we don't want. So once I let it sit for a second, we should see a reading approximately around 2 ohms. Now if it jumps a couple points above that reading or below it, don't worry. As long as it's close, we know we got a 2 ohm woofer. All right, guys, so in order to wire these two single 2 ohm subs in series, we need a jumper wire in order to do so, which will raise the impedance of the woofers together. Now we got our jumper here, just a piece of speaker wire. And what we're going to do is basically take a negative terminal from the first woofer and attach that to our jumper wire. Now the one that we have left over is going to go to the positive terminal on the secondary woofer, which in turn will series the woofers together. Now we have a jumper wire left over. Now this is going to join the last coils that we have left on the woofers, which is one negative and one positive. Once we attach that, the remaining wires are going to go to the box terminal on the inside of the enclosure, from the box terminal to the outputs of your mono block or two channel amplifier. Now we're going to go ahead and take negative, attach that to the last negative terminal on the woofers and take our last positive and attach that to the positive terminal on the secondary woofer. So in order to check your woofer's final impedance after wiring them in series, we're going to go ahead and go back to our meter, set it on the ohm setting, take our two test leads and the wires that are left over going to your box terminal and attach them to the test leads. Now we should read a 4 ohm final impedance on the meter. Now don't worry, it may fluctuate a couple points above that 4 ohm rating or below it. As long as we're close to it, we're golden. Now, once again, this is how we wire two single 2 ohm subs in series to equal a 4 ohm final load. This is Brennan with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.